lot of people are in support for No Femur Kid. This is his hometown. He's in Dallas. He's from Dallas. Born in Dallas. You can't ask for anything more. And they're chirping at each other a little bit as you just oh, saw there. He, goes, he made a, a straight beam right towards baby Draco as soon as he got in the ring. We're again ready for this first bell. The stage is set. No more talking. It's time to put the gloves together. Hey, you mind and they've begun. Looks like baby Draco is taunting him right at the beginning. Interesting go. approach. To the floor! Oh, they're, they're going clinching. at it. They are clinching. Pedro, they're going oh, at it right goodness. now. I think we need a referee. They're getting separated. They're getting separated. Now, I'll, I'll tell you right now. No femur kid statement. hit him with a beam. Wow. Not one person in this arena was expecting that. I think they're going to add a referee now, thankfully, to help. It's going to help add some order in the ring. Let's see what's going to happen. For sure. And they've started again. I can't even process that, but we have to move on, unfortunately. They're keeping their distance. And they're going at it. And they're going at it. No Femur Kid did block those punches. They're both swinging for the fences right now. Absolutely. This might not go the distance, if I'm honest. They're both swinging super hard. And you know what comes with that? They gas out quick. Oh, Draco's hitting him with and some beans. Oh. All of the fight. That built up is going down Draco, right now. Ricardo's on the ropes. Ricardo seems to be clinching. That's his second clinch of the fight. He's keeping himself composed they, here. They keep talking back and forth, though, Petron. They keep talking. I could only imagine the chirping. You can feel the energy building up right as we speak. Of course. Every time they exchange, the crowd erupts. No femur kid in the gold shorts. Baby Draco in the red shorts. What a fight we've got. Wow. Beautiful Big little hit. right hook. Uppercuts by Baby Draco. Those sting. Baby Draco is going out. Oh! oh. Baby Draco fell back. He, he fell slipped. back. I think he slipped. A lot of clinching going on early. What do you think about that? A lot of clinching, and I think Ricardo, no femur kid, he's just trying to control everything. Baby Draco he's is just trying to down. control everything. Did you see that one there? Baby Draco did hunch down a little bit, grabbing the rings. What's he was grabbing the ropes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. A swing and a miss by Baby Draco, but that wow. would have been lethal. That would have been lethal. Ricardo lost his footing there, but he's back up. 37. No femur kid is swinging. Once again, they're clinching as well. He's leaving himself open when he's swinging that hard. Correct. He's really opening up. He's swinging with all his body. Oh no! Oh, baby Draco was walking away, and no femur kid hit him. Baby Draco seems to us just. He's hanging on the ropes. Baby Draco's hanging on the ropes. He needs him. Happening to baby Draco right now, but he seems like he can't his, handle it. His coach Cass is screaming at him right now. I don't know what he's saying, I but I believe he's... it's a confirmed knockdown. They are counting with the fingers. Cass, his coach is telling him to breathe, I think. Yeah. With a moment like this, it's easy to get gassed out just by the adrenaline alone. Ricardo seems the, to want to go right The rep is urging him to go in his corner. Hey, listen, listen, listen. What's up? I told you not that. Stay calm. What we've been working on, okay? We don't want to fight. Hands up. Let him throw that shit. Let him throw that right here. Smart. Hands up. If it's not there, take it down. Hands up. 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 Hands Ricardo is absolutely furious. He is in the middle of the ring, ready to fight, and it doesn't look like Draco is. Draco is waiting in his corner still. Okay, now he comes out. And they're going at it again for round two, I believe. Round two begins. No femur kid stalking down baby Draco. Baby oh Draco. Oh my goodness. If his punches are connecting, it is not looking good. And they're going at it. Oh, baby Draco hit him with a couple, though. 
Oh! That was a good sweep, weave a, by Ricardo. A Superman punch almost landed for baby Draco. No femur kid, great defense. I would think that these punches with such power is casting out baby Draco in a way. That song, Walk Him Down by 21 Savage, should be playing right now because that's exactly what No Femur Kid is doing. He's walking him down. <laughs> Baby Draco seems to be walking away after every altercation. I'm not sure what's going on. He's tired. It's, it's got to be conditioning. It's got to be stamina. Or one of those might have hit too hard. Wow. What an interesting start. And they go at it again. Oh, Baby, Baby Draco, Draco was leaning on the ropes. No Femur Kid hit him. And they're on the floor Baby fighting. Draco's on the floor. What a performance from Chris This might be over, folks. This might be over. I don't know if this is going to keep going. It's over. And it's over. It's over. It's all over. Baby Draco. Oh, he's oh. absolutely gone. This was crazy. What an experience. And he's trying to go at Baby Draco right now. I can't believe Oh, my goodness. goodness. He's flexing on him. He has made a statement. Disadvantage with the height, disadvantage with the reach, disadvantage with pretty much everything. The guy doesn't have fevers, the other guy does. This is bonkers. You, let me tell you, Moses, he walked the walk just as much as he talked the talk. Disrespect no femur kid. Like King Kong staring on the Empire State Tower looking down at the population. <laughs> and he kisses his girlfriend. What a lovely moment there. I'm not sure what baby Draco is doing right now currently. He looks like he's being worse. assessed. It uh, might be worse than we have thought. We actually just saw no femur kid pull out. And the, he is digging a grave the, on baby Draco. That's the grave digger celebration. Absurd. Now that's disrespectful. We oh, okay, saw okay, some insane blows. We can only stand and clap. Look at this. Oh, and this pulls at your heartstrings. There was so much mess talked before. But at the end of the day, respect between the two fighters. They handled it like men. As they should. What an amazing experience. As they should. Very, very quick experience, I must say, though. I was not expecting this at all. Keep in mind, baby Draco made the sacrifice. He came here from Detroit, Michigan. He did not have to do this. Now, very nice of no femur kid. He flew him out. He got in the hotel room. It's not like he was here just doing this under his free will. But at the same time, you gotta, gotta give credit to baby Draco. He came in here looking athletic, looking ready to go. Came in with the first round with some huge shots. 100%. And at the end of the day, no femur kid. They raise his hand at the end. What a match. They are both content creators at the end of the day, and they have delivered for the people. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, no femur kid. No femur kid has won the match. What a triumphant victory. You can tell that he loves this feeling. You can feel the energy in the room. You can feel the energy coming from him. He's gonna remember this day for a long, long time. I'll tell you that for sure. And I cannot wait for this YouTube video to come out. No Femur Kid, what an absolutely amazing performance. How do you feel about the fight? Man, I feel great. I wanna say thank you to my Lord and Savior, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I wanna thank you to you, my coach, Coach Cass. Man, he believed in me, man. He believed me from the job, you know. I you know, I, I played sports growing up and I never was able to compete. And now I find sport and be able to keep competing. And Coach Cass believed in me. He never, he never backed down from me. He always believed in me every single day. And I worked really hard for this, man. I remember sleeping yeah. four or five hours a day. Yeah. Waking up doing body in the morning. My leg's injured right now. She had an injury, a leg injury. I said, fuck that, I'm fighting. And uh, well, thank you to, to the people who love me. Thank you to the people who, who uh, helped me. Thank you to my amazing girlfriend. She made these pants for me. <laughs> so, she's awesome, so, so, so grateful right now. Hey, shout out my girlfriend. You're, you're obviously emotional, and obviously congratulations. Yeah. Tell me why, the main reason why you're emotional, and really a two-parter here, 
you're emotional. I feel that this was the first fight that we saw you where it was clear that there was, you were at a disadvantage. Yeah. Was that part of what fueled not only the emotion we saw before and during the fight, but how you feel now? Yeah, like I said, everyone, everyone, everyone told me I was going to lose. Everyone said I was going to get knocked out. Everyone believed I was part of that. I was the deal. I thought I was in Mario. I trained for this. Like I said, there's much, much behind that because I, I know that, I know that they, everyone doubted me. They doubted me when I played football. I played football in high school, played football in college. They doubted me when I ran the marathon. I completed the marathon. They doubted me on YouTube. 120,000 subscri 120, subscribers later. I wrote for myself. Thank you to God. They doubted me. Yeah, hold on, hold on. No fear, kid. They doubted me in the comment section saying I'm not a boxer. What's up? I'm the face of boxing. I'm a boxer now. And who wants next? Yeah. Now, there we go. There we go.